Both of them off and away. Derby out in front in the pickup truck right hand side. And Derby goes 1098 at 123. Roush goes 1304 at 107. We're up here at the rock. Got Zorro going down the track. My son. First time for that car. We got David Christie's Ram up here. A Project Storm over here. About to have a big change. We got Frostbite, as always. Mopar fam, I hope everybody's having a blessed day out there. We are in North Carolina at The Rock. We are drag racing and we have all the toys up here today. We have the new Challenger, Zorro, up here, my son. I'm letting my son drive Zorro and we are getting it down the track for the very first time, um, obviously. There she, there it is. And then we got Frostbite as well. Um, we got Frostbite up here and we are completely full weight i didn't take anything out of the truck this weekend we have literally everything in you can see floor mats carpet center console both seats door panels rear section even the toolbox case in the back no nitrous the dash real doors mirrors everything so and my rear tires are just about shot, by the way. We need new tires. I did just put new tires on the front. The weather's not as good as I was hoping. We're having, we're fighting in the mid to low 2000 DAs. So we're not running, uh, we're not running 10s right now. We're running, we're close. We're, we're right there on the 11s. So um, we're doing pretty good, but we're running the Hemi shootout class. Now Zorro, I will say has completely impressed us. The new Challenger I just bought, this is a stock 5.7 car. It's a 14 nag one car we still have the 20 inch street tires and wheels on this car front and back um it still has a stock air box setup and this is the plus package car so we have leather we have a sunroof we have heated seats we have everything in this car the back seat's still in it like we didn't we drove this car all the way up here six hours uh, my son drove it to come and race it um we even have the spare tire in the trunk because on these tires, it's helping it hook up and it's actually doing very well. This car has custom carnage exhaust all the way back, X-pipe with their performance racing mufflers. Um, I did change the tune a little bit myself. As you guys know, we did the, the little ghost cam tune in it, which doesn't do anything for performance. It's for sound only, but I did add a little bit of timing on the top end of the um, the tune so it picks up pretty good on the back side um he ran 11 or, excuse me he ran a 13 one in this car just a second ago again about a 2000 da at about 105 miles an hour and that's honestly i have never seen these older challengers um run that well ever like most of the times most of the ones i usually race they seem to be you know fighting the low 14s or high 13s uh, especially on stock tires and everything not really messed with so i've had a lot of people come up to this car and they're really shocked how well it's running and as we are um, we're completely floored how well the truck how well the car is doing zorro is definitely putting up a fight so 
uh, that car is going to be pretty interesting when we get a drag pack and you know real custom tuning on it storm is up here on the new tire package smaller tires and wheels the circle d converter um, again we don't have the air that we wish um, you know the negative da's are going to be gone for the rest of the year so it's going to be a while before we really get to see what this truck can put down in in good weather but we did break its personal best today in this hot weather and the truck ran a 13.5 so it's a tenth quicker in the heat than it was last year um so that's definitely definitely a plus um considering last year it was a tenth slower and a five and a negative 500 da so i'm assuming when we get the negative air back the truck should be capable of probably running 13 o's maybe a high 12 i don't know we'll see um but it's definitely running pretty good and uh it's also full weight as well he is running this thing oh, full interior he's got the door locked right now the back seat is still in the truck it's just folded up so this truck is heavy you guys this thing's over 5,000 pounds so only thing going on tailgates off <clears throat> and it drove all the way up here six hours to come race as well so pretty cool we got David Christie's truck over here. The old pickle truck, we call it. Long bed, regular cab. And this is an NA truck. And he's pretty much all full weight, except for the same seats that I have in Frostbite. And this truck runs good for NA um, with a converter and a 545. He's running 1320s in today's heat. Um, so pretty good. And uh, I think this truck right here and this guy right there and that black car over there zorro is gonna have a good battle for 13s today um yeah for sure so yeah guys there it is this is our little camp area for today stay tuned hopefully between all of us somebody does good and we do something or win something or i'm winning that 13 class you think you're gonna win the 13 class well, if you win the 13 class in my car, that kind of counts, actually means that I won it, right? Because it's my car? No, huh? No. Yeah? You still got to get by me. You're just, Winner buys dinner. You're just a driver, so oh, well, it's technically my car, guys. I don't know. All the work. I'll sandbag but. so you can win so you can buy dinner. Oh, yeah? Winner buys dinner. David says he's going to sandbag so he can buy dinner if he wins. I mean, he needs to become a man. He needs a win. He needs a win? I've had a man. Oh, right now. <laughs> Right now, he's doing pretty damn good. So I gotta say, the car and him's doing something right. So wish us luck, stay tuned. We'll post updates here soon. Ryan Walton and Jessica Sibyl next. Sibyl out of Morrisville, North Carolina, and the Trackhawk Grand Cherokee right side, and the 2012 Ram pickup truck left-hand side. That's Ryan Walton's entry. Eleven ninety-three at just ninety-nine miles an hour for the Trackhawk. Thirteen fifty with a one at the end of it at hundred miles an hour for Ryan Walton's pick 'em up truck. Clayton Derby and Kevin Smith. Smith going 10-20 at 145 in the Demon out of New Jersey right side. The Georgia base ride for Derby out of Winder, Georgia, to be exact. 13-18 at 104. A pair of tire smoking pickup trucks coming up next. David Christie and Dylan Derby. Christie out of Louisburg, Kentucky. 2011 model pickup truck and Derby out of the popular Winder, Georgia location. Also, 2011 Ram pickup truck.
They're off and running. Derby out there in front, right-hand side, looking for another 11-second time slip. And goes 11-12 at 121. 13-22 at 100 miles an hour for Christie's hot rod, left-hand side. So Clarence Barnes, I know you're standing back here watching all the great action. We had a chance to meet and talk a little bit yesterday, and we're watching all these great Mopars go down the racetrack right now. This is the first of the three passes that they're going to be running. We had well over 70 of these cars here in Orlando. Marshall Myers was one of them out of North Carolina with the Superstock Dodge. He's going down left-hand side. Clayton Derby going down the right-hand side out of Winder, Georgia, as I've been advised. 986, 136 left side, 1326 at 105. Lots of great fans, lots of great show cars up. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have the fan experience up here, and we don't, get, we don't get to give away free swag. And when you give away free stuff, everybody celebrates, and they have a great time. So, I mean, you look like the hero, so nothing wrong with that. Yeah, no, I, I tell you, the, the, one thing, the one thing you have down here, though, you've, you've, got, uh, you've got the best view of, you know, the starting line and stuff. It's an exceptional time here today. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, for somebody like you and me that is taken care of, doing certain things when it comes to not only race relations, being a part of it, working behind the scenes. It does give you how much great stuff comes out of one event in the next, in like three to four days. The amount of stuff that comes out of it is amazing. A couple of good passes there. 11-12 for Dylan Derby. Joe Edmonton going 9.51 at 146 in the Hellcat Challenger out of another one out of Georgia. It seems like there's a lot of cars out of Georgia, but I see a lot of uh, people coming out of Rockingham, North Carolina, the surrounding area. So, uh, heavy favorites here. Obviously, everybody likes to show up and support their home racetrack. Speaking of supporting, uh, I don't know if you know Lolly. They're giving away a set of pistons today, and they were like, maybe maybe you'll you'll call the person who wins. They're going to give us a list of names. You don't have to be here to win it. You go to Fight to Molly, you sign up, and about 5 o'clock, we were thinking right after Jet Dragsters, call someone and get them on live with you. And if they're excited and they're having fun, we'll give them a set of pistons. Oh, I'm in, maybe. I mean, I mean, like, yeah, when, when he said he was giving away a set of pistons earlier, I was trying to hand the mic to somebody else so I could go sign up for him, and he didn't look enthused. He was like, wait a second, no, that's my job. I need to leave. You need to stay here. So I thought we'd give him a call and put him live on the mic, and hopefully they're family-friendly when we decide that uh, they're the winners. But, uh, yeah, you don't have to be here to win. So you just sign up at Molly if you go down there. Today at 5, maybe after Jet Dragsters, right? Yeah, after the second session. Now, t tell me how you think this would work. Let's see if the person has a sense of humor. I'll call them up and I'll ask them about their extended car warning at 84 miles an hour. Clayton Derby and Joe Edmonton next. Edmonton out of Ackworth, Georgia. Clayton Derby out of Winder, Georgia. 2014 mile challenger left side, 2019 mile challenger right hand side. Nine forty at one forty-seven for Joe Edmonton, right hand side. Thirteen forty-three at one oh three for Derby, left hand side. We'll bring up the pickup truck of Ryan Walton next on left side. Two thousand twelve model out of Duluth, Georgia, and Billy Gunn out of Denver, North Carolina, the twenty twenty-one Challenger, right hand side. Twelve thirteen at one twelve for Billy Gunn right side. Thirteen fifty one at hundred miles an hour for the pickup truck left hand side of the racetrack. The pickup truck left side for David Christie. It's a two thousand eleven model out of Kentucky. Jessica Sipple, one of the two Sipples out here racing this weekend. Morville, North Carolina based Trackhawk.
12 20 at 94 miles an hour for the track hawk 13 19 and 101 for the pickup truck that'll bring up the other pickup truck the 2011 model we have two of them out here dylan derby out of winder georgia and josie roush roush in the slightly pink influence 2019 model challenger out of livonia michigan Both of them off and away. Derby out in front in the pickup truck right hand side. And Derby goes 1098 at 123. Roush goes 1304 at 107. 949 at 145 for Edmonton left side. 1038 at 132 for Robbins right hand side. That'll bring up Brian Walton and Marshall Myers. Myers out of North Carolina in the gray superstock Dodge right side. 2012 pickup truck for Ryan Walden out of Duluth, Georgia, left hand side. Eleven forty five at one thirty two for Myers, thirteen fifty seven and ninety nine miles an hour for Walt. Billy Gunn and Clayton Derby next. Derby the 2014 Challenger right side. 2021 model Challenger left side for Billy Gunn. To the finish line they go, 1218 at 112 left side for Gunn. 1453 at 73 miles an hour for Clayton Derby out of the gas early trying to zero in on a particular index. Dylan Derby and Robert Skalicki coming up next. Skalicki in the scant pack. Challenger right hand side and the 2011 Ram RT pickup truck for Dylan Derby out of Winder, Georgia. Second. Skalicki goes 1198-107, right side 1170-119 for Derby, left side. Well, in the Hellcat out of Mooresville, North Carolina, left side. David Christie out of Kentucky, 2011 Ram pickup truck, right hand side of the racetrack. Attention in the pits, attention in the pits. My Circle D Specialties and Torque Storm Superchargers True Street Cars for round number one of three.
13-1 at 104.